환영합니다, 손님. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another video of Library of Ruina, the modded series. I'm Dom Monic Wolf, and today we're going to be jumping right into the Hannah Association one mod. So, with that, everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. And with that, let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, here we go. This looks fancy. This actually looks really nice. So, hey, hey, I thought you'd put up more of a fight. The prelude isn't even over yet. <laughs> Glad they have that in there. Not this one. Not this one. Hey, conductor. The meat and veins are all mixed up. It's going to be a challenge to use these as ingredients. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Sorry, Greta. Never had good impressions of these fellows. Guess we went a little overboard. Won't you agree, friend? Get your filthy hands off of him. Damn! Oh, <laughs> he beat the shit out of them. That voice really gets on my nerves. How about you learn how to ask nicely first? Director backup seems unlikely. It's because of this damned barrier, isn't it? Now, now, you look like you just ate a handful of black crayons. Oh, it's Oswald! Our banquet of red strawberry jams and fireworks is about to hit our climax. How about you pay Miss Mermaid and Mr. Knife some more attention? Since there's no getting any mercy out of these crazy maniacs, let's finish it here and now, shitheads. Ooh, Vermilion Cross! There he is. Vermilion Cross, you were alive. Unfortunately, the only way out of this barrier seems to be by using this. An invitation? Change of plans. You take care of the library. I'll round things up here. You don't look well either. Your face is pale. Is it because of that bloodsucker? We simply do what we must. Go. Director, we must decide. Who's this? Vermilion Cross? Did Elena? Ah, never mind. Look at him. Looks like he fought like a dog trying to reunite with these fellas, huh? Time to get you purified, Argalia. Everyone stand back. Just make sure to keep his corpse. Gotcha. Sorry, Vermilion. Why must we flee from battle like this? Why? Man, they did really good on this. Like, every mod that I've been running into, they have been doing a fantastic job on these cutscenes. And, oh my god. Director, over there I see Vermilion Cross's squad. Just a little longer, sir. It's my fault. I should have more thoroughly analyzed what powers they wielded. Don't say such things, Director. There were just too many variables. What to do now? We won't stand a chance in the library with everyone this injured. Keep calm, Director. Our remaining members won't make it at this rate. The Vermilion Cross isn't doing this for nothing. We have to go to the library and do what we must. We mustn't give up yet. There's still work to be done. What of the K-Corp serum? Not nearly enough, but we'll be able to dodge a crisis. All right. To the library. The Hanna Association was brutally overrun. Though an ensemble composed of stars of the city is no joke. If we could get their books, won't it be a big help to finishing the one true book? It probably would, but it'll certainly be a challenge. On top of that, we're going to have to face that girl at this rate. You know her? She looks like a high-grade fixer. Saw her once, although briefly. What is it? Nothing. Make sure to get prepared for our guests. Welcome, dear guests. Greetings. Name's Hannah S. Section 1 Director Ennis. Hello, I'm Hannah S. Section 1 Fixer Maji. What you seek is beyond that door. What's the matter? 
How much lives have you taken to get these books? Those guests simply reached out for what they wanted. So it would seem, do you believe our current situation was also caused by our own will? What do you mean? If you knew about us enough to prepare what books we needed, you would know our current situation. All the people the library has claimed has there truly never been someone like us who were driven to the library against our own will. Actually, no. There's multiple times that people have been sent to the library because of someone else. Yep. There must be a goal you wish to reach to run this library. However, reaching that goal through others' sufferings would leave a bitter taste afterward, don't you think? Same goes for the head. They enforce their rules through violence. You have no right to say such things while working under the head yourselves. That's true. However, because of that, the city as it is now is in this state. May you find your book in this place. Let's go ahead and jump into Ennis's passive abilities. Starting off with Shield for All. Upon discarding a page, gain the following effects next scene. One page, apply one protection and stagger protection to sell. Two pages, apply two stagger protection to all allies. Three or more pages, apply one protection to all allies. Last ditch effort. Upon discarding a page, draw one more page next scene. Starts the battle with 75% less HP. Geared for battle. Restore three light every scene. Now that is a good passive ability at a cost of zero and it can be transferred. Oh my God. Balance keeping. On use, apply one paralysis to self next scene. When this page is in use, dice on this page and the page clashing with it are unaffected by power gain or loss. On hit, discard a random page and apply one paralysis next scene. On hit, apply one paralysis next scene. If a page has been discarded, this scene, apply two paralysis and two bleed it. Next scene instead. Crimson Trigram Assault. Mass individual. On hit, apply one paralysis and two bleed next scene. All the way down four to 10, five to 12. That is a incredible page right there. Now moving over to Maji's passives. So let's start off with Spear for Hannah. Upon discarding a page, gain the following effects next scene. One page, apply two haste to self. Two pages, apply one strength to self. Three or more pages, apply two strength to self. Maximal kick, five to 10, 14 to 29. Now I have no idea who I'm going to use for this fight. So I guess you guys will see when we jump right into the battle. Let's go. Um, this is new. We are going in to whoop some ass and finally, after a little bit of going through the files and stuff, but these guys don't stand a chance against hot teeth. They are just too powerful. And it, yeah, it's just, I think this is gonna be a slaughter just because the ensemble definitely fucked them up. Like, they have no chance. It just makes me think of... God damn it, what are their names? Uh... All right, so the association I was thinking of is the C Association, and I just... I was having such a hard time thinking of it with Yuji. Or Yuji. Uh, but yeah, no, we're whooping some ass here, and... Uh... This is actually really nice. I do love how much detail these guys go into them, like their mods. Like you mod creators, if you guys are watching this video or anyone who's created or even attempted in making an, a mod, incredible. Like even just putting the effort into it is just, holy shit. It's unbelievable. Going from card art to background art to cutscene art to character art is just unbelievable like the more mods I look into and the more I see about them just makes my jaw drop it's incredible how talented these people are but no it makes me very grateful to oh here we go but very grateful to be able to play all these mods and experience what the modded community is all about like 
Holy shit, the talent, the talent of these people are, is insane. Like, I am, I'm speechless on how much goes into this. And I'm just, I didn't even focus on the face, but I don't really care about that. But there's one Hannah Association dead. There's two dead. And possibly a third one coming in real quick. Actually, no. That is the end of our phase. <laughs> We're going to do all sorts of damage to them. Poor guys. We are going to get refunded our disposal card, though, on uh, Mason. So that'll be really nice. Oh. You know, I'd like to see a version where we actually get to fight these guys when they're in full HP, but, you know, I don't know how you'd be able to change that, but it'd be really interesting. It really would. All right. Well, here we go. We're going to go ahead and end this right here, right now. There's no way this person is going to survive. Because we're just going to end it on this. Yep. There it is, Ken. The scar's already too high up. It's over. Indeed it was. It was over the moment that card was selected. But with that, let's move on to the next mod. Since actually, no, we got cutscene. That's right. This is a story mod. So let's jump over to the cutscene right now. You look troubled. Is it cause of what he said? No, I have no regrets about my decision. It's a decision I made for my pain and freedom. But, but, nothing. Good work, Roland. Yeah, yeah. Okay, quick, simple, easy. Now let's jump into the next mod. All right, guys, we're moving on to the reception of the Azure office. We are facing off against Yumi, Hunter, and Cedric, and they will be received by NetZaz's team. So let's go ahead and read their passives and then look at their unique key pages. So moving on into Azure Overdrive. If this character has haste and burn, all dice gain one power at the start of the act. All allies gain five charge. Energy Generator. At the end of this scene, if the character has burn, gain one charge. If the character has 10 or more charges, at the end of the scene, gain one haste and inflict one burn to self next scene. Blade of Victory can only be used at 10 plus charges on use. Spend all charges. If user spent 10 or more charges, dice on the page gain eight power and user is inflicted with burn equal to half of charge spent. On clash win, draw two card. On hit, all allies gain three haste and two stagger protection next scene. Pretty good card right there. Morning star, on use, gain two haste next scene. On Clash win, gain two charge. All right. Moving on to Hunter. Energy overload. At the end of the scene, if the character has burn and charge, offensive dice deal two damage next scene. Reckoning. Can only be used at 10 plus charges. On use, spend all charges. If the user has spent 10 or more charges, dice on this page gain eight power and user is inflicted with burn equal to half the amount of charge spent. On Clash win, draw two pages. On hit, deal bonus damage equal to double the unmodified natural roll. All right, moving on to Cedric, energy coolant. If this character becomes staggered, spend all charges and gain protection equal to the charge spent for the scene and the scene after. Max five once per act. Upon recovering from stagger, inflict two burn to self. Solitary. On you, spend three charge and give all other allies three charge this scene. On clash win, gain two charges. All right guys, so I'm not gonna read all of Cedric's page right here because it's pretty much the same as Hunter and Yumi's except for the last effect. On hit, if the user has burn, transfer all burn to the target this scene. All right, guys, so Netza is not taking part of this fight because he's a little too tired and a little too drunk to be fighting. So we're going to go ahead and jump on in. You guys have to cover for him. You guys are about to whoop their asses. 
because I, you guys are targeting one of them. You're going to focus them down, make sure that you guys can take out at least one of them as quickly as possible. The burn is going to hurt. Burn always hurts. There's no way in no world that burn does not hurt. <laughs> it's just, it's one of those things that is a pain in the ass. But they are burning themselves, so that is good as well. So, it's a double-edged blade on their end. Alright. Nice hit. Ooh, taking a little bit of damage, but the thing is, is Dennis has heal on hit, so it's not going to be a big deal. And staggered. That is what I like to see. Icing is already starting on our next victim, just destroying their stagger resistance. There's no way they come out of this unscathed. Oh, and yep, we are going to kill them. Oh, well, might as well do that. You know, might as well damage them even further on their stagger resist and uh, cause even more damage to them. All right, boom, that counter dice is, oh my God. You are just setting yourself up to be destroyed in a moment. Staggered, oh, this guy is so dead. Oh, and potential unleashed by Zidane. Oh, that person didn't die? Well, we killed the one that I expected, uh, or didn't expect to die, and the one that I expected to die didn't. Wow. And it's gonna be over because you guys are just, whoa. Never mind, that was a lot of damage that that person outputted. But I think it doesn't matter because you're all dead. You guys, you guys have made net zap. Proud. Let's see if Boundary of Death goes through. Come on, Dennis. You got this. Ah, <laughs> it didn't go through. Unfortunate. And he's dead. Well, all right. Time to move on to the next fight. On to the reception of the monochrome office. We are facing Nova, William, and Victor. Now let's go ahead and look at their passive abilities. Starting off with Shaded Illusion. When using a combat page with only one non-counter dice, whose original cost is two or less, the dice gains the following effect. On Clash Win, recycle this dice. Max of one time. Excludes combat pages that add additional dice. Combat pages with more than one non-counter dice lose to power. Massacre. Combat start. Shuffle all pages in user's hand back in their deck. Draw pages next scene equal to the number of clashes won this scene. On clash win, reduce power of opponent's next die by two. Shaded conversion. When using a combat page whose original cost is one, dice gain two power. When using a combat page whose original cost is not one, dice lose two power. Enforcer, on use, add a special combat page enforcement to hand. That can reflect damage back to the attacker. Gated Sanctuary, all dice on the first combat page the character uses each scene gains an additional effect on Clash Win. Give one protection to a random ally. Shelter, combat start, upon losing a Clash, recover 2 HP and gain one protection this scene. If user's HP is less than 50%, Gain two protection and stagger protection this scene. All right, so that's all of their abilities, and Tiferets will be taking them on. So let's see how this works out. All right, let's see how they do. Oh, uh, that's not good. That's good, though. Uh, positive ones. I'll make sure that they use negative this time. Uh, we might have fucked up. Our, well, actually, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. We weren't supposed to get positive. We were supposed to get negative. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. That's on me. Oh, I forgot to set her up with... Uh... So we have anger and sadness. Hatred. All emotion coins gained are now negative and gain twice as much emotion coins. On Clash Lose, gain one strength, maximum of four. At the start of the scene, inflict two feeble and disarm to the last opponent attacked. 
see what exactly happens with her. So she's gaining all those negative emotion tokens. Damn, they're just getting nothing but positive. This is not good. But Tiff is getting a lot of negative. No matter what, I can't gain negative with these guys because they're in a happy kind of chipper state. I can't change that. Nice. Tiff is getting all those emotion tokens. I will say, this is a really good build to pretty much get people built up to the levels that you need them to be at. Um, right now, I'm not really, I guess I'm not really focusing on exactly what I need to be doing. Here we go. Get him, Tiff. Boom, boom. Get that three strength. That's what I'm talking about. Let him know. You know, I've still never gotten Tiff to be Exodia. But maybe one of these days I will get her to unleash her power among the world. Whoop their ass, Tiff. Oh, that's not good. Nice. That hurts, though. Dodging. Nice stagger. He's dead. Greed. Hell yeah. We might, we might do a bang bang. Don't you dare. Oh my god. Nice. Let him know. We got five protection on our side with them. Toaster. Toaster is putting up that defense. Nice. He won that one. Tiff going in. Giving him a little tip tap. Just got to let him know. What the heck is going on with them? That guy has no light down there, but he has... Oh, he's got no cards in his hand. That's why. He has cards, but he doesn't. Oh, I gotcha. I was like, why are they not doing anything, like, super crazy right now? Boom. Boom. That's two strength for Lil Tiff. Lil Tiffy. And, uh, yeah, you're gonna die. There's just no way to avoid this for yourself. You're gonna join your friend, and we are going to shelf you. Goodbye, Victor. Now, Nova, don't you go crazy on me, because I've seen some characters go absolutely supernova on my ass. Her name's Zhao, and because you just lost your friends, please don't turn EGO on me. I'm just joking. I know you're not, because it's only one round. But still, don't... Don't do it. Just don't. Oh, Tiff! Oh! Damn, she actually took a lot of damage right there. And I don't know if she's going to live next round. He got a six, and he didn't attack Tiff. What an idiot. Not only that, I'm all fucking going for hitting Tiff. Don't you hit Tiff. Oh, he just killed Toaster. That's not good. Ah, he'd be fine. He'll be fine. It's gonna hurt. Yeah. Yep. Come on. We're gonna fuck you up. Because you only got one card. Right now. Nice. 
No! You bastard. I don't have all the necessary cards to do this, but whatever. Yes! There we go. Suck it. Suck it. Little Tiff just kicked your ass. How does that feel? I don't know why that was so hard. That shouldn't have been as hard as it was. <laughs> and with that, everyone, that is going to conclude this video. I really hope you did enjoy. If you did, go ahead and let me know by hitting that like button. And if you're new to the channel and you want to become part of the pack, go ahead and let me know by hitting that sub button and notification bell to know when a new video goes up. Also, don't forget to leave me a comment down below. All comments are well appreciated. And with that, everyone, I'm Demonic Wolf, and I'll see you all in the next video that I make. Because I am out!